in order to create a highly successful self-running business, you have to have the right mindset around money and time. These are the two areas that I find people struggle with the most, and they don't even know it. One of my favorite quotes of all times is by Jim Rohn. And uh, if you've never heard any of his speeches, he's, he was an incredible speaker. He's been uh, gone for many, many years, but find some old YouTube videos um, that were uploaded. But Jim Rohn, one of my favorite quotes by Jim Rohn, and it speaks directly to mindset, is where he said, rich people have big libraries and poor people have big TVs. Wealthy people invest in knowledge, poor people invest in stuff. And I'm not saying that to disparage anybody. I mean, I can remember in the day when we had yeah, barely had two nickels to rub together and we bought this little postage size stamp of a black and white TV. So, you know, I have a big television in my house. But the point is this, this addresses mindset that holds us back. Not opportunity, mindset. People who value knowledge are going to invest in knowledge. And people who don't value knowledge are going to invest in stuff. And the minute you buy stuff, whether it's a car that you've always wanted or a TV or a new computer or an iPhone, the minute you buy stuff, it's worth less than what you paid for it. But when you invest in knowledge, you can actually make back that money 10 times over. So let's talk a little bit about mindset around money. Um, we have to fix our mindset around money first before you can succeed with the right systems or the right tactics, which I'm going to share some with you in just a little bit. So bear with me. But you have to fix your mindset first or you will not follow or create or capture the right systems and tactics for your business. So before you can become wealthy and build a business um, and create massive impact in this world, you have to fix your mindset and the first mindset fix to address is the mindset around money. If you find yourself living paycheck to paycheck, and I'm going to ask you to ask yourself right now, and you can shake your head yes if that's the case. Do you find that you do live paycheck to paycheck? If you find that you are living paycheck to paycheck, it is possible that you have cultivated a scarcity mindset uh, in that relationship with money. If you're afraid to spend your money, it's because you're afraid you can't make more. Or if you spend everything you make living paycheck to paycheck, it's because you don't believe the money will be there later to buy the things you want. Either way, spending all the money you have or not being willing to spend the money you have because you're afraid you won't have more later is a scarcity mindset both never spending your money or always spending everything you have, basically living paycheck to paycheck, represents a scarcity mindset around money. Just acknowledge this. It is the first step to changing it. So with a scarcity mindset, you'll find yourself always never having enough. With a scarcity mindset, we never have enough. Um, so how do you shift from that scarcity mindset to what is known as an abundance mindset. How do you make that shift? I had a scarcity mindset early in the day and I had to make these incremental changes and transformations. None of it changed overnight for me. I had plenty of baggage I had to work on. So first let me explain what the abundance mindset looks like. An abundance mindset is the opposite, of course, of a scarcity mindset. An abundance mindset can literally see the positive in most outcomes, you know, the, the positive outcome that could possibly happen. That's what the abundance mindset sees things as. Whereas a scarcity mindset can only see the what ifs of negative possible outcomes around money.